from the growing number of landfills to the oceans, toxic waste is building up faster than we can manage. And the great global cleanup on April 22nd aims to raise awareness of the threat. Folks going out and cleaning up their local park, their river, their, you know, whatever it may be where it needs help. It's a great opportunity to get people thinking about, you know, the environment. Maybe they hadn't thought about it. Maybe they hadn't thought about the plastic bottles and what that means while they're picking them up and suddenly there's an awareness there. So as part of Earth Day, these cleanups are happening in thousands of locations around the world, with Malaysia hosting the largest event with over 100,000 volunteers. The global action comes amid revelations two years ago of microplastics found in the lungs and even the bloodstream of people for the first time. Some of those plastics are already associated with things like asthma or cancer or inflammation. So that's why I think this is a wake-up call. From 2 million tons in 1950 to more than 450 million tons in 2019, global plastic production has multiplied nearly 230-fold, and future projections are far more bleak. We're expecting by 2040 for the total production of plastics in the world to increase double, so go up twice, by 2060 to go up three times. And when you look around and you sort of think about Everything you can see right now, if you look around your room, that's plastics. It's it's a lot, right? It's it's very difficult to go five minutes without using plastics, and 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 even if you did, you breathed it in the whole time because it's in the air too. Research has shown that recycling alone does not address the problem, and so activists are pushing for a global plastics treaty. World delegations are gathering in Ottawa to continue their negotiations led by the UN. And what's exciting about that, that draft text is that it takes the entire production line from the beginning to the end and looks at the interventions that the world needs to do along, along the line. Numbers show that if single-use plastics could be eliminated, that would cut out about half of all global plastic production, a giant step toward a healthier environment. It is Tian Shan, CGTN, Los Angeles.